want to get a better understanding of what Idala is. So I want to turn right now to a guy who runs a weather website. It's known as Mike's Weather Page that many professionals use for hurricane tracking. He has over 2 million followers across his social media platforms, and he's now tracking Hurricane Adalia. Joining me right now is Mike Boylan. Mike, you, Mike thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, you're outside right now. Is everything boarded up? Uh, yes, in sandbags. And uh, where I'm standing right now, the locals have told me it's going to all be underwater. It's a historical district. Um, so, it's, you know, to, to the other's point of being eerie, it's it's a very eerie feeling to me. Um, I've been in a lot of hurricanes, and to think that, you know, this is just a few hours away, um, it's just calm. Birds are chirping. Water's uh, like glass right now. And, you know, to think we're going to have a major hurricane, is it's just it's it's shocking that it's going to be here, you know, in just a few short hours. Yeah, I mean, in 24 hours, unfortunately, I think the scene is going to look a lot more different. What makes Hurricane Idalia different, though? What makes it particularly catastrophic? Uh, it's the heat. Um, we've we've seen this Gulf temperature um, this year, you know, record record wa water temperatures in the Gulf, and that's been the number one fear from the beginning of the season. Uh, and, and I think we're seeing it play out on and. and Fortunately, in the last several years, we've seen these golf systems really rapidly intensify, and they, you know, they did all that rapid rapid intensification with waters that were four to five degrees less. So, we're seeing what everybody was, you know, fearful for, um, and you know, this part of the area too has never experienced a storm uh, ever, and it's pushing that water into like a little bowl uh, and magnifying that storm surge. And you know, talking to um, uh, Kevin Guthrie the other day, you know, they're really concerned with the surge, but also power loss. And this part of the, uh, Florida has a lot of oak trees, pine trees. They're, they're thinking millions of customers are going to be without power. Uh, and that's going to go all the way past Interstate 10 towards Florida Georgia line. And I mean, you gave us kind of an idea of what we can expect in terms of the damage and operations being ceased. But in terms of the recovery effort, in terms of what the impact is going to be, I imagine this is going to be felt weeks, months, maybe even years after, if this gets as bad as they're saying, right? Oh, that's correct. Uh, you know, when, when you start snapping power poles and, uh, you you know, trees are down, it, it's a mess. It takes a long time for this recovery in areas that haven't been hit with a storm. You know, there's a lot of trees that are old, and uh, it's always nature's way of pruning, and it, it's unfortunate. But, uh, it, you know, l luckily for the state, I, I will say they've, they've organized tens of thousands of linemen, uh, airboats for water rescues. You know, it's not your typical helicopters for water rescues because there's so many trees. They, they brought in a team of airboats. Um, I mean, they're expecting the worst. Um, in, inland flooding is a really major concern with the amount of rain that we got uh, with the Suwannee River region up here. So, yeah, it's it's definitely not being uh, taken very serious by the locals. Um, and and, and partly that's because they never got hit with one like this. Yeah. And, and look, I'll tell you this much. I know this is your science. I know this is your area. I hope you're 100% wrong. I hope it does not turn as bad as everybody's saying, and I hope the locals are right. But we're just wishing everybody to stay safe, hunker down, and prepare for what might come. Mike Boylan, thank you so much for taking the time and explaining a little bit more to us about what we can expect. Stay safe. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.